I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Tearing the country apart over the Bush-Cheney anti-terror policies. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. The far-left media has succeeded in convincing the world that the USA is a nation of torture, a country that sadistically inflicts pain on both the innocent and the guilty. Well, these people at the New York Times and NBC News should be very proud. They've damaged their own country in a disgusting display of propaganda and outright lies. It all began with a boo grabe, a story featured more than 50 times on the front page of the New York Times. The abuses at Abu Ghraib were revolting and unacceptable. The soldiers that committed those crimes shamed their country and their uniforms. That is the truth. But where was the perspective, ladies and gentlemen? 99% of American military people have performed brilliantly under tremendous pressure. There has not been a fighting force in world history that has been as restrained under enormous pressure as our military has been. But does the world understand that? Yeah, mistakes were made at Guantanamo Bay and other places while suspected terrorists were being interrogated. And every one of those mistakes should be examined. But those things happen in every war by every nation. Again, the far-left press is treating America like a pinata, whacking it at every opportunity because they don't like Bush and Cheney. Now there's an insane call for fishing expeditions to find something that will lead to prosecuting the president and vice president. Again, this is poison, a destructive act toward America. Bush and Cheney protected Americans after 9-11, and they did it fast. So mistakes were inevitable. But they stopped the killing on American soil, did they not? To his credit, President-elect Obama wants no part of the radical left jihad to tear the country down. He says he's looking forward, and that is a smart thing to do. But Talking Points despises, despises those who, in the name of ideology, want to weaken the country, putting us all in danger. As loyal Americans, we owe the benefit of the doubt to leaders in a time of war, and both Bush and Cheney say flat out, they did their duty. We don't torture. Look, you're sitting there, you captured Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. He's the guy that ordered the September the 11th attacks. And uh, we, we want to know what he knows in order to protect the United States of America. And I got legal opinions that said whatever we were going to do was legal. And we were very careful in terms of how we proceeded to make certain that we had the authority that was needed to do what we did. The idea at this stage that you'd go back and try to prosecute somebody for that I think is is uh, not sound. It's also one American. Finally all Americans want the economy fixed and their families kept safe from terror killers. That should be Obama's primary focus. Those who continue to run this country down and divert attention from those things should be condemned by the rest of us. Condemned. And we're gonna name names coming up in the future ladies and gentlemen. I'm just gonna stop right now. And that's the memo. Now for the top story of night reaction to this, joining us from Washington, Democrat and Fox News analyst Bob Beckel, and from Boston, Fox News military analyst Colonel David Hunt. All right, Colonel, um, how do you see it? Well, I think that there was six or seven cases where we actually tortured somebody, and I think it was necessary at the time. I think the problem is that we didn't admit to it, and all the problems have come up now. I think we should take a look at how we fought this war the last seven years, not to prosecute, but to learn how to fight it better. My complaint has been competency, not, not the legality issue. We're in a war. Bad things happen at war. Not a lot of them have happened in this war. But our problem has been the way our government has approached some of those mistakes. Okay, you yourself used coerced interrogation in the field, did you not? Yeah, twice. It's, I, didn't, I didn't call it. No, you, don't, I, you don't have to go I, any I further admit. than that. You don't have to go any further. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did it twice. Not, I'm, I'm not proud of it. It was necessary. I'm glad we did it. It saved guys' lives. We found out what we wanted. Would you do it it's, again? It's something you would, for the, yeah, I would. What do you think about somebody who want to put you in jail for what you did? I think that's the way that the country did. In mean, both these cases, by the way, I actually turned myself in. The, 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 the point is... But you weren't prosecuted, the, that, and you, didn't, you weren't on the front page of the New York Times. No, no, not, that was a long time ago. But the, but the point, what I'm trying to get at, not the, I'm not the story here. The truth, but what happened is... And happening is it, that's that's the danger you take when you're in the field making decisions for for usually always to save somebody else's life your guys okay but, but you are the story is, you are the story because you were trying to protect American lives and you did what you felt you had to do and you say you'd do it again and you did prevent deaths from happening okay sure that is yeah. the story Colonel that's the story is it not Mr. Beckel 
Well, first of all, look, we don't need to go back through what happened at Abu Ghraib and, and the rest of these things in Guantanamo. Uh, the, the Bush administration's own person, this woman Crawford, uh, decided that there was, in fact, torture at Guantanamo. Yeah. She's not going to prosecute these people. But look, the question now is, looking forward, does prosecuting people after the fact help or hurt in future conflicts and protecting the country. My point about it is, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a very liberal guy. I don't like what happened, but I don't think it's necessary for us to think about prosecuting George Bush or Dick Cheney. I will, however, say that if you make the determination that you cannot protect Americans, which they clearly did, and take steps which are clearly beyond the Geneva Convention, then let's not, up, let's not be a part of the Geneva Convention. Simply say, we can't I, do I, it. I don't we disagree do with it. you. I don't disagree with you. And I said to President Bush when I talked to him last time, I pushed him hard. You guys may remember that. Well, what exactly are you guys doing in the name of the American people? You need to tell us. And Bush told me, no, I'm not going to give the enemy the advantage of knowing what we are capable of doing in interrogation. That was his answer, but I pushed him hard on it. But you, Bob Beckel, when you hear Congressman Conyers, others in the Democratic Party, say, oh, we got to go now and investigate all these people, and if they did anything wrong, put them in jail. What do you, what do you say to Congressman Conyers? Well, what I, what I say to Congress, Congress is we've got a lot of things to worry about here. And, and, and one of the things we've got to keep in mind is the people making the decisions, writing the legal briefs on this thing, were people, frankly, like Gonzalez, who wasn't competent to do it, or people around Dick Cheney who were doing it for their own re means. But I'll tell you what I would do. I, I, I'm not being tried about this. If I were Barack Obama, I would issue a pardon to George Bush <laughs> and Dick Cheney and say, uh, no, no, I, no, I wouldn't do be that because that, that implies from Obama that they did something wrong. And I think well, that they would did, be really though. Like that. But, no, I mean, they, but they that's did. A, that's, a but matter, they did. that's a matter of debate, and it, it has not been proven that they broke any laws at all. So I'm not buying that for a minute. Now, Colonel well, Hunt, but, but, Colonel, but, wait, a minute, wait a minute, Bob. Colonel Hunt. Yes. Aren't I right when I say that the far left press in this country, led by the New York Times and NBC News, has convinced the world that the U.S. military, a bunch of torture people, we're a, we're a bad place and it's indiscriminate chaos in this area. Aren't I right in saying that? Well, the New, York, the New York Times, you know what you get. They have not been helpful. They've been derogatory towards soldiers. Right, but Pakistan but doesn't know what we get with them. See, our image has been damaged in the world by these they, liars they, they, over there. It's true. But they've been, the problem, though, is two other parties, that it's those, among those lies are being fed by government officials with clearances who should know better. And then the Times and others have reported them. It has not helped us in the war on terror. Isn't it insulting? No isn't it insulting, Colonel, to the military to have that perception about them when I believe they're the most restrained military in the history of warfare in this Iraq conflict? Isn't it insulting? Yeah, it's been a very, it's been a great military. They conduct themselves extremely well, and of course, it's absolutely insulting. Right. And, and talk to the guys in the. Good, I'm glad right you now, agree with me, Colonel. Can I ask Colonel? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 Bob. You can't yes. ask anybody anything. But I am going to give you the last word. I got 20 seconds. Yes. Go. All right. My last word is that we still have the fact that the General Counsel to the Army under Ronald Reagan has made a determination that there was torture, and somehow or another, without punishing people who had, under difficult circumstances, had to do things. We need to get this clarified so in the future people know what they're doing Bob, that's legal or not legal. It happened one time, according to that woman. One time. Okay, Bob? It's not across the board. We're not a terror nation. I didn't say nation. it was. I okay. did not say one it was. One time. I don't think it was. One time. I, I think All right, it gentlemen, I'm getting, a little, I'm getting a little emotional, so I've got to pull back now. And we thank you very All much. Right.